Okay guys, what's up? So more with uh, Freedom General Contracting. I went ahead and picked up this Echo C, I'm sorry, SHC uh, 225S. It worked out really well. Um, it's pretty heavy, it does take a little effort to do it. Um, I've trimmed these three hedges and I got another hedge out there that I trimmed up. Um, it takes some effort and some uh, intestinal fortitude to get this done guys because it's uh, pretty heavy. I already pre-mixed, I'm sorry, I do never, I never pre-mix my gasoline. I put gasoline straight in there and I eyeball the amount of oil that I put in there and it works, work, uh, works out really well for me. I don't use enough uh, blended or mixed uh, gasoline. On top of that, I never use those silly little cans. I just don't use them. I think they're trash, they're a waste of money. Ethanol works out well. If you're worried about it, spray some carb cleaner into your carburetor and clean it out. A uh, can's $3. Each one of those silly liters of gasoline costs uh, 2 to $4 a, a liter. Um, it doesn't make sense to buy that trash. Um, just use it. If you get a little ethanol in there, clean it out, you're good to go. Um, I've never had issues where my things don't start. And if they do, I take off the uh, bowl on my lawn mowers, clean out the seat, and um, super easy. Takes no time to do it. It's not worth wasting uh, $10 a gallon for that silly pre-canned, um, pre-mixed gasoline they sell at every place. This should be illegal to sell that stuff, just ripping people off. Um, anyways, uh, we'll continue. Um, that's neither here nor there and what I'm doing here. Gonna head to these bushes real quick and hopefully get it done. My back's hurting because it's, it's a little bit of effort to do this. Um, here we go. Make sure my off, it's on run. It's cooled off now for about 20 minutes, so let's see a second pull. Here we go, not bad. Trying to lower everything, keep everything condensed, and still try to make it look pretty. It's not gonna look pretty because I just obviously 
chase off all the leaves off this thing. So I'm gonna be left with is branches. I did tell the customers that because that's one thing that I've had problems in the past. They just don't understand that there's no leaves in the center of the bushes, especially if you're not maintaining this every year. Um, if you're not maintaining this every year, you're gonna end up having problems where um, it's overgrown a foot or 18 inches or whatnot, and you have to cut it back. Um, I stopped there. Um, I'm gonna hitch that pine tree like I did this one and leave a good three feet off the ground where it's nothing but bark and trunk. Um, and there's a lot of pine tree back there, super hard wood. So this thing's having a hard time with it and I don't wanna mess up my teeth on something I'm gonna go ahead and use my, my chainsaw with to, to hedge um, because it just doesn't make, make sense to destroy your tools like that. Yeah, it's nice to have the right tool for every occasion. <laughs> That's it. Uh, CS590, uh, really good chainsaw. Super heavy, but um, it's a great chainsaw. It's got a guide here to keep the uh, blades in line every time it comes out, it comes back. It's got these uh, fingertips here. I don't quite understand. I'm guessing if they were to ever catch a piece of wood, these things are supposed to keep it from keeping going back or kicking back. It's got a brake. I never use the brake. It's got a brake effect. A few times I've had the brake applied, it was by accident and worse off. Um, I couldn't figure out why the thing couldn't start was because the dark brake was on. Um, so I hate the brake here. I'm sure it's some, for some safety reasons. Luckily to this day I've never needed it. Your choke is here when it's cold or hard to start. There's your choke. This be, this uh, version doesn't have a pump on it to attempt to uh, pre-pump your carburetor. The kill switch is here. It's got a little kill switch down is stop, up is run. It's got two um, spigots here. Uh, one is for your gasoline. Again, I, I put gasoline straight into the device. And then I put my premix afterwards, um, two to one oil mix for the gasoline. This is your chainsaw oil. I just buy the gallon size. Um, and again, I just go to Walmart and buy the cheapest possible chainsaw oil bar and chain. It's called Black Backs Premium Bar and Chain Oil. Extends life 
and bar and whatnot. Uh, super efficient, it's probably like 10 bucks or so for the oil. It's worth it, makes a big difference. Um, without that chainsaw oil, you're burning up your blades and uh, it takes forever to cut. Maybe uh, it adds not only lubricant, but it seems to really grab onto the wood. So I've tried to use mortar oil. Um, it just slips. That bar oil really just grabs the wood unless you just chip it out of the way, tear it up. Um, that's really it. I haven't really done a video on this device here. It cuts pretty good. It's getting dirty now, but this is what I use to, to do this. And of course the, what is it called? The SHC225S. And, you know, all this power, all this uh, horsepower, you know, some of the biggest, toughest tools here. And I'm cutting into it with this little rake. Uh, this rake is what's making the magic as far as cleaning up the tree. Um, I have a larger rake that I do use for the larger areas. I found this little handle at um, Ace Hardware. It was actually on clearance. Makes it a little bit easier, makes it more ergonomic. Uh, for these areas that are up front, obviously this rake is better. Um, but trying to get between the bushes, I learned real quick that this rake just does not get between the bushes. So you really have to have a smaller rake to be able to get between them. Just look at these rocks. These rocks have not just been exposed for years probably. So we have um, some undergrowth here, some nice vegetation. I'm not sure what it's called. I'm sure you guys know. If you guys don't mind. Let me know what it's called. Um, this uh, viney stuff. This viney stuff here, it's really nice. When it's grown properly, it looks really good on a, on the uh, flower beds or whatnot. But let's see. This thing is, actually has like a three to five year warranty. It's time for me to go warrant it out and get a new piece. Um, the teeth are working. You know, I'm not trying to tax the system too much by bringing in things that still work. It's missing two teeth now. Maybe I'll consider it next time I come out. But uh, like I said, this one is very nice about getting between between the uh, bushes there. <laughs> Somebody must really like tennis, the third or fourth tennis ball. Wow, that's a brand new tennis ball too, lots of pressure. Uh, if you guys play tennis, let me know, because I, I love playing tennis. I um, haven't played in a while, but I do enjoy doing it. Always fun to see what you find in the hedges. Uh, found a basketball, oh, I'm sorry, soccer ball, found a couple tennis balls, uh, a little lizard. Haven't seen any garden snakes yet. Um, thank God I haven't seen any other snakes either. So I guess I should be happy to get to zero snakes versus just the specialty snakes. So I'm about done here, guys. I might come back and hedge this a little bit. Um, I don't like the way this is sticking up. Hedge it so at least it's a little even. I might even go a little lower and cut this off uh, just to make this even as well. And that's really it. Um, unfortunately, there's a big old empty spot inside this bush, so it's going to look weird for a long time. That's part of it. Thanks guys for watching. Omar Jacobo with uh, Freedom General Contractors. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please post them downstairs. If you guys can help me out with the names of this, these plants also, that, that helped me out a lot too. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.